Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today we've got Essie dressed to the 90s and I'm doing a galaxy manicure for Gina Rose. Now this had been on my wish list forever and I decided I wanted to do a galaxy manicure with it because it's got some shifty and duochrome and depth to it. Um, I wore it on its own, thinking about it, picturing it, and um, just decided to go for it. Um, normally, a lot of people like to do their galaxy manicures over either like a dark navy blue or black, which is how I've done them in the past, but this time I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Gina had asked me to do this manicure a while ago. She probably thinks I had forgotten about it, but I write stuff down and I kept thinking about it. It kept popping up in my mind and decided to go ahead and do it today. Mine's going to look a little different than some people's. I'm using some kind of non-traditional colors. We'll see. So that's two coats of that, of the dress to the 90s. And I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down for the Galaxy part. So there you go. It's a very beautiful manicure all on its own. But we're going to play with this one. I'll be using this Princessa White and it's called Alpine China Glazes. Lemon Fizz and China Glaze Mimosas Before Manny's and then another China Glaze Fade Into Hue and then China Glaze Metallic Muse. I'm going to be wearing my homemade latex concoction with glitter in it. Um, I'm going to be putting that around and I really probably didn't 100% need it. It wasn't, I didn't get too crazy but you know, I thought, whatever, we're going to do it anyway. So this is uh, my um, new latex that I'm going to be using, and you'll be seeing it quite often. I might do a video on it. It was very easy. So here we go. We're just dabbing in with the white, and you don't want it to be like stark white. You kind of want it to be like foggy white. See, like right there, I got it kind of thick. And what I'm going to do is just keep going back over it to pull some of that polish back up. I'm doing different designs on each nail because when you look at images of galaxies, they're th or galaxy images, they're they're all kind of different shaped and all over the place. And I didn't want the nails to all look the same. I just wanted them to, you know, have a cohesive look, you know, something like that. But you want to do this white base because it's going to help your other colors kind of pop off of there since you're playing on such a dark base. And I'm going to do the same here with the Lemon Fizz and all the other colors that I use today. I'm just putting little dabs out on my mat and using tiny little pieces of makeup sponge that have been torn up. And the thing I like about doing these manicures is you just keep adding and playing with it until you like what you see. And then you can call it done. You know. I had picked out different colors. I was kind of go, going to go with like a neon galaxy but in my test it just wasn't working out so good so I just decided to stick with more of the lighter shades of these colors and a couple of them have a little bit of shimmer in them this one right here mimosas before Manny's it's got a little bit of shimmer in it but I'm gonna add some shimmer here in a little bit you'll see sorry I'm so out of frame I'm not used to showing my thumb Normally I don't do it when I do all of them, but since all of these had different looks to it, I just kind of, you know, decided to show all of them. And I know this is a rather long video, but there was a lot of steps to this one, and I wanted to share them all with you. Now I know it's just looking like a bad old mess right now, but it does come together in the end. I have to tell you, this I had originally planned on only wearing this manicure for like a day or two because, you know, I had other stuff I was going to do, and I get certain days that I'm able to play, um, but this one turned out so freaking pretty that I ended up just wearing it. I couldn't, I just couldn't take it off. Now, see, I got it thick there again, too. You just take your sponge and try to scoop up some of that or absorb up some of that excess that you don't want. And they're getting stuck to my tweezers. There we go. And I do dab it a little bit sometimes I just dab right into the paint and other times I kind of like tap it off a little bit on the mat so I don't get too much of that color because you're really kind of wanting to just layer it up 
here we go with that metallic muse. And I was going to use just another, like, um, kind of a mermaidy color. But when I saw this up on the shelf, I said, nope, that's the one I need. I need that one. I thought it would kind of add something to it. Get a little thick there. But I'm going to show you guys what I mean by going back and playing in with it. You know, adding and, you know, with, you know, working on getting it the way you want it. But I have, I have really enjoyed doing this one and wearing it. It just made me so happy and it makes me sad that I didn't do it earlier. This is Powdered Perfect Treasure Chest and it's kind of like in a clear jelly base, kind of like a duochrome base, but it's got tons of glitter in it and I just wanted to add a little bit of bling off in my galaxy. You can see I'm just being very, lib I'm not liberal, but not generous. Very stingy is what I'm being. I'm being very stingy with this one because I don't want it to override the the rest of it. I want it to just kind of accent it. I'm going to need a little bit more. I was, you know, but it's because it's such a clear polish that it, you know, I needed more than I thought it was going to. So I'm just tapping that one in also, just kind of willy-nilly here and there. Then I got to go back in with some more of the white because you can do that. <laughs> I'm going to go in and kind of just patch up. And I got a little tiny piece that time because I don't want to cover it up. I don't want to, like, destroy what I've worked on. But I want to kind of throw in a little bit more white here and there. Now that first color we started with, I've got to bring a little bit of it back up to the surface. I'm really, really having a blast. I'm just having a blast with this one. And Gina, thank you so much for the request. I really do appreciate it. And I do apologize that it took me so long to get back and to, you know, to do this one. I'm going to top it with some Northern Lights. I shook it up really well. And I really love this because it's such a tiny scattered hollow. I mean, it's just, it's scattered hollow for sure. But it's so tiny. It's milled so fine that it didn't, like, eat up the manicure. It doesn't take over. It just adds something to it. And I do really like it on here. Hi, Woody. Welcome to the galaxy. But as I'm looking at it, I'm sitting here thinking, hmm needs something it needs something else what could it be hmm let's think about it what should we do um, I think I need some more of another color so we're gonna go back in with some more of the base color I decided to add a little bit of that into it just a tiny bit here and there just very See how I'm tapping it on the side to get some of that off? Because I don't want it to just... And I think this was the right call for this. I think this one pulls it together. And that wasn't part of my original plan, but as I looked at it and thought about it, I thought it needed it. And I think I did a good thing doing this part of it. Kind of just pulls it together and to where it's not like a galaxy sitting on top of dark purple. Now it's kind of floating within it. I'm enjoying it. A little chatty today. Once again, I've probably had too much caffeine and, um, you know, get what you get with me. So I'm going to peel this latex off. Sorry I'm out of frame. I was trying to get that rascal off of there. And now we're going to go clean up with my little cleanup brush and some acetone very minor cleanup. I didn't make that big of a mess to begin with, so very easy. Look at that. Awesome. So I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat and seal it in. And I really, really love this one. It's been a while since I've done a manicure that I just was like head over heels with, and this is one of them. This is it. So... But I would love to hear what you think about this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my Galaxy Manicure. 
Here is my swatch photo. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.